Ryan here with another special report. NBR has an interesting piece up about the closure of the Wii U and 3DS eShops and what it means for the future of gaming. I'm not sure I agree with all of it, but it's definitely thought provoking. The Wii U and 3DS eShops closed for good on March 27th and with them went total access to certain titles that only received a digital release or a very limited physical release. That part is indisputable. Games developers claim the digital push is to save on overhead and reduce piracy, but in reality, it's about maintaining full control. If every game were digital, that all but kill the secondary market, which many games developers already equip with piracy. It'd also allow them to be the final arbiter on pricing and even access to their software. That's not an attractive prospect. On more than one occasion, I've lost digital games in the process of switching consoles. The same console, mind you. No matter how you slice it, digital media is less permanent than the physical sort. And while digital media should cost less than their physical cousins, in reality, games developers just pocket the difference usually. How many AAA titles in recent memory were cheaper in eShops? I can't think of many. NPR also makes a great point about the preservation of a budding art form and how digital media makes that all but impossible. Without a physical copy and with eShop shuttered, the only alternative is emulators, and in most cases those are illegal or otherwise frowned upon. The accompanying ROMs are definitely illegal, making it extremely difficult to preserve something that for all intents and purposes doesn't exist anymore. As to why the Wii U and 3DS eShops are closing, Nintendo said the following. This is part of the natural life cycle for any product line as it becomes less used by consumers over time. We are providing this notice more than a year in advance of the end of purchases so users will have plenty of time to prepare. Which is all well and good. You can't expect a hardware company to support outdated software forever. But if that same company makes it increasingly difficult to even acquire said software in physical form, then the company is effectively controlling the product's entire life cycle, from cradle to grave. And it's because of that, and preserving gaming's history, that Gerard Khalil, aka The Completionist, spent over $22,000 buying all 866 Wii U games and 1,547 3DS games ahead of their respective eShop closures. It was an audacious and expensive move, and will help with the preservation aspect since, as Gerard said, the reason why preservation is important is because it's about having not just one copy, but as many copies or several copies as possible. Gerard plans to donate all the Wii U and 3DS hardware used and software downloaded to the Video Game History Foundation, so there's that. Meanwhile, while you can't buy new games in the Wii U and 3DS eShops, you can re-download purchase content after the March 2023 cutoff for an unspecified period of time. Thanks for joining me for another special report. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my televisual program, and I'll see you next time. This is Jimmy Midnight signing off.